here like me who raised me both the good and the bad with the show, allow me to point out the top 10 best episodes so you can avoid the duds. Father figures. Lola's father wants to connect to the closest thing to a son he's ever had. It's funny, clever, and even touching at times. Even if its ending is underwhelming. To bowl or not to bowl? Daffy joins a bowling team but has to be told that he's the only bad player. In the middle of the big tournament. This ending will have you laughing for hours. Eligible bachelors. Bugs and Lola take a tour to France while Granny gives a tour to force. With a story about how she was a kick-ass spy in World War II. That's actually kind of gripping at times. The Float. This might be Daffy at his cruelest, and it's fascinating to see just how despicable we can take this character before we want to kill him. Some might see it as going too far, but I think it's pretty damn funny. Members only. The first appearance of Lola adds the perfect introduction. Again, has sort of a weak ending, but it's still a Lola-centered episode, and to me, those rarely fail. Double date. Daffy wants to impress his new girlfriend, Tina, so he asks Lola for advice, not realizing Lola falls for her own techniques and becomes obsessed with Daffy herself. Another great stalker episode from our favorite crazy. You've got hate mail. Daffy learns from Tina that he can let out steam by writing an angry email and then deleting it. So Daffy writes an angry email to everybody he knows, but accidentally sends it out. The reactions are mostly what you think. This one has lots of laughs, a surprisingly warm ending, and maybe the funniest design of Yosemite Sam you'll ever see. I won't ruin it for you here, but it's worth checking out. Rebel Without a Glove. Bugs loses his trademark glove, so he wears a pair of biker gloves instead, altering his entire personality as well as scaring the crap out of the people around him. This is not only as funny as it sounds, but we also get some fascinating insight into Daffy's psyche. For example, what is the story with that white thing on his neck? Again, I won't give away the answer. The DMV. What can I say? They do every hilarious joke you could do with these characters being at the most miserable place on Earth. The comedy writes itself and most of them hit head on. And my personal favorite episode is one called Customer Service. This plays into our fears that a customer service agent played by a devilishly evil Cecil Turtle are actually sadists who love to torture their clients by putting them on hold or somehow creating more problems. It's a return to form for Bugs as he dons disguises and plans diabolical schemes all in the name of sweet revenge. The jokes are funny, the setup is great, the subplot's entertaining, they all tie together, and it's a perfect mix of the Looney Tunes combined with modern day problems. But what the hell do I know? Check out the show and see for yourself. Check it out, pick a side, and see what you've been missing, or glad you've been missing. I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy, remember, so you don't have to.